All right, new series. So you got piss and vinegar that I'm doing, training on a daily basis. Now I'm doing a golden tidbit series. So every, where's the fucking camera? There it is. Every week I'm gonna do little, because there's, there's certain topics I wanna make videos about, but you know, topics I wanna make videos about, but they're not extensive enough to make a video about. So I'm gonna make weekly tidbits, pieces of advice for gym that aren't big enough to make a video on, or at least not yet big enough, because I haven't flushed out my opinions that I don't know where the fuck the camera is. I think it's right. There, there it is. So anyway, golden bit tidbit number one, karate belts. These things are fucking hell, hella versatile. Normally, what you would use instead of these is one of those rope attachments, and there's a few problems with that. One is grip. You're doing tricep extensions. Actually, you know what? I'll record this from the cable stack. Now, these videos are going to be super raw and uh, real bare bones. Don't even have a mic yet, but yeah, I might uh, up the quality of these videos in the future. But for now, it's super bare bones. So, one of the biggest issues with uh, rope attachments is grip. Your grip gives out. Your forearms are first in the kinetic chain and they lower your ability to contract the muscle because anytime you have to grip anything, there is a lesser, uh, less of my muscle connection on the muscle that you're trying to target because you're gripping, your forearms can give out first. And even if they don't, you're ne not necessarily gonna be able to feel the muscles working as well as you could if you could limit that grip. So the karate belt, I started using the karate belt for pronation. Pronation, arm wrestling technique, you add a weight or cable to the belt and you pronate like this to train the pronator muscle. But I found between me and my clients, this is a very effective fucking piece of equipment for numerous different things other than just pronation. First one is tricep extensions. So rather than having to grip it, which a lot of times when I used to use the rope attachment, I have to grip it and my grip was the issue. It was uncomfortable in the pad of my hand. This, I just looped my hands through and bam, I can do the same neutral grip hand that you'd want to do on a rope extension without having to get this pain in your hand and grip like a motherfucker. Another one would be a face pull, right? So face pull, same thing. You have to use those fucking stupid ropes. Now you can actually loop your hands through, totally eliminate the grip, and bam, you can do face pulls without having to grip anything at all. This could be use your rows too, if you want to isolate the back more, not use your grip as much. You could do it with a cable row, you could do it in any pulling motion essentially. Another one would be brachialis. So, you do your hammer curls down here. at the bottom, like this. And again, you don't have to grip. It's resting in my hands. I can have my hands open the entire time, totally isolating the brachioradialis and the brachialis. So if you've not got a karate belt yet, you should really buy one. They're fucking 10 bucks off eBay, 10 bucks on Amazon. You can put it in your gym bag. If you have a home gym like me, you just have it stored around. Super light, super easy. Super cheap, and there's so many different things you can do with it. 